Welcome back to the Ores YouTube channel. My name is Roberto George and today with a really cool solution for anyone that has a computer on one location but that wants to use that computer on other locations without moving it. So this is an HDMI and KVM over Ethernet and the best part is that I don't need to connect the cable directly from this unit to this one because it has an IP and we can use it over our switch on our network. So in this particular case right now I do have three different displays. One is right over here with the main computer but I also have that one right over there and another one there. So it's really easy to use. Let's go and Check it out. This is the main computer connected to the HDMI and KVM. This is the EX500 KVM, a 4K 60 Hz HDMI and KVM over Ethernet with IP. So I do have this computer connected via HDMI here so that it inputs the signal. And then I do have this Ethernet cable that will go to one single switch, which is right on that back door. Now that single switch, I also have another Ethernet cable coming to connect to this unit here which is a receiver EX500 KVM same model and what I have here is a USB dongle so that I can control the computer right over here so if I move the mouse around and I press for example here and sorry that I'm holding my phone if I press something here for example the Windows menu which I can leave it right over there and if I look at the setup right now which is the main computer I do have exactly what I've opened so if we go to this computer once again and if I close for example the VMware and we have closed the Windows menu now if I take a look at that one that is okay now we can connect more than one so if we go to this setup right over here we do have a third unit connected so I do have an Ethernet cable that it's coming from my wall which is connected to that one single switch that we talked and then I do have the power we also have a USB dongle which is for the keyboards and mouse and basically that is it the Ethernet cable and we have KVM signal right over there so in this particular case if I press the Windows button here for example I can just use the keyboard or use the mouse for example and anything that I do here will reflect on the main computer actually we are controlling the main computer by using the KVM and HDMI over IP Ethernet which is really cool so we can use a switch in the middle so at this moment if I press here or if I leave the Windows menu open and let's go to the main computer we will see that we have exactly the same thing that we had right over there the Windows menu right over here and also the windows menu right over here which right now if i just leave this one and go back this one doesn't have it anymore and if i go to the other one at the end it doesn't have anymore as well so we are controlling from two different places besides the main computer just by using the kvm and hdmi over Ethernet. And now that we have seen the setup here we are on the main computer so I can control it here as well. I can just choose to work here or work on the other two spots that we just have seen. Now in terms of the connectivity is pretty straightforward. I just want to add a few more things here. In terms of the transmitter which is the first unit located near the computer we only need to connect the HDMI cable that is coming out of my computer to this unit here and then I will connect one USB cable to the computer and to the unit which is the uh, cable that will share the information where I do use mouse or keyboard or anything that I will connect to the receiver units. Now we also need to connect the Ethernet cable which is what is going to send all the information over the network. In this particular case this one is connected to a switch and then from that switch I have several cables on the network. I have internet connection as well and I do have those two workstations that you just have seen. Actually not workstations just the display keyboard and mouse and the KVM HDMI device from Ori which will make the magic happen. So on the receiver side I just need to connect the exactly what we see here, one 
cable that will come from my switch and then one HDMI cable that will go out to the display and we will need to connect a keyboard and mouse so that we can control the main computer which is here. So basically in terms of connectivity it's just this. Now in this case what I'm doing here is something a bit different which is this computer has two HDMI outputs. So I have one HDMI output going to the transmitter and I do have one HDMI output going to my display. So in this particular case I'm using mirror screen so I'm having two displays, one here and one right over here. In case your computer doesn't have two HDMI outputs, one of the things that we can use is a splitter. I've got an example here but we have seen quite a few solutions that we can use. In this particular case we have one HDMI input to two outputs. So if my computer only had one HDMI output I would connect this one this end to my computer and then the two outputs I would connect one output to the display and the other output to the HDMI and KVM extender which would then send the signal. So this is one of the ways to get around if your computer doesn't have two HDMI's and if you want to have this setup like I have. If you put a laptop here then you will have the laptop screen and also an HDMI output that will go here so it's another solution. This will depend on the computer that we will be using but it's as easy as this. So inside the package we will find a transmitter unit, a receiver unit, both EX500 KVM, also one USB cable that we will connect to our computer, two power adapters for each of the units and a quick user guide which probably you won't require. So this is the basic setup where I will be connecting one computer here and then to the receiver I will connect my display. But if we want to extend further then we can purchase just the receiver and inside the package of the receiver there will be the receiver obviously also the power adapter and one quick user guide and as such you will be able to get the setup as I did show right over here where we do have a standard kit a pack with transmitter and receiver but also an extra unit so that we can connect a third display, keyboard and mouse. And that is it. As you could see on this face here with one switch I was able to connect to that switch my modem and router which will bring my Ethernet signal and then I will also connect this unit right over here which is the transmitter and will send the signal over the cable which is the signal from the USB on the computer and also the HDMI so that we can have access on each of those workspaces and then on that workspace I just need to connect one of these and connect one HDMI cable that will go to the display and one USB or two USB for my mouse and keyboard and I will be able to control this computer right over here anywhere that I want inside my network connect to my switch which is really awesome. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.